all spacecraft rely on power sources to function, communicate and navigate. Radioisotope power systems get their power from radioactive atoms that release heat as they undergo radioactive decay. Systems and batteries that use these systems generate electricity using the Seebeck effect, discovered by Thomas Seebeck over 200 years ago. In 1821, Seebeck discovered that having a temperature difference at different ends of two combined conducting materials creates a voltage, with electrons flowing from the hot side to the cold side. Now the UK Space Agency, together with the National Nuclear Laboratory, are joining forces to create a world first. A space battery fueled by americium 241 it's a more sustainable alternative to plutonium-238, which are radioisotopes, the unstable atoms used to power atomic space batteries. PU-238 is only produced in the US and Russia with a limited supply. An alternative is americium-241, or AM-241, which is formed as plutonium from spent nuclear fuel decays and can be found in most smoke detectors, but in relatively small quantities. Only 0.3 micrograms of it are used in smoke detectors. The amount of AM241 needed for space travel is huge in comparison. For example, just one gram would be enough for over three million household smoke detectors. Although both fuels have similar properties, AM241 has a half-life of 430 years, compared to 90 years for PU238. It will make it possible to expand the duration of exploration missions, as well as journeying further into space than previously possible. Back in 2019, researchers from the National Nuclear Laboratory were able to use a small amount of extracted AM241 successfully to generate enough electrical current to power a light bulb. Having been successful in creating AM241 at gram scale, they are now expanding to produce it on an industrial scale. The 19 million pound lab, based in Cumbria, is where the NNL hopes to make it all happen. This project, which has been funded by the UK Space Agency, will see the UK becoming the only country in the world that is able to produce AM241 at an industrial scale. This will likely encourage investment, create jobs and other opportunities for the UK, as well as giving a boost to both the nuclear and space industries. It's hoped this technology will be ready within four years, and the European Space Agency's Argonaut mission will be the first to make use of it. To learn more about space exploration, head over to spacetv.net for all the latest news. For Space TV News, I'm Sarah Jupp.